everyone, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, and it is time once again to return to Call of Cthulhu. Now, uh, if you remember from our last installment, um, we have Cat now helping us get into the warehouse. So, uh, it should be interesting. You know, and in past years, it has been awfully difficult to get a decent uh, game together using Lovecraft Mythos. And you've seen me, if you go through my videos, and I hope you're watching this to the end, uh, you've seen me de play Call of Cthulhu, Shadow of the Comet, Call of Cthulhu, Prisoner of Ice, and Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Now, each of these games have their good points. Except maybe for Prisoner of Ice. They have their, ba their downsides, so... And that's pretty much because a good portion of the mythos is kind of hard to visualize. This one's been doing pretty good so far. Okay. Enter madness. Yes. Follow me. Nobody okay. questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. Yeah. They know where their interests lie. Yeah. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Well... I don't want to get too far ahead of her. We saw this guy poking around here. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, they're trying to save face. I like cat. That's how it's done. Nicely do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. <laughs> Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Hey, your information's been helpful, Cat. Okay, how do we turn you off again? Ah, there we go. Oh, this place stinks. Oh God, can't what is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Yeah, it's a... Ooh. Oh, wow. So now I have something new. Okay. I want to check my points here. So let's see. Find help getting you into the warehouse. Yeah. Alright. Those who penetrate into the Sarah into the Sarah warehouse have failed. I may I did a deal with Kat. She allows me entrance to the Hawkins warehouse in exchange for a debt that she'll collect on at some point in the future. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. 
Ah, I have three points. What? No, 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 no. I did not want that. Reconstruction mode? Keep a news clipping on Sarah, Sarah Hawkins. Hmm. Can't sleep. I don't know how that, that feels. Yes. What's that? Who has Who's enough that? money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? That's a curious question. Ugh. It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, it does. What the hell? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Yeah, that's a good question. There's more stuff here, isn't there? It's this. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Hmm. Gain another character point. So this has been interesting. Sarah Hawkins. Uh, anything else? So whoever punched that. Hmm. That is interesting. So what's it say here? Uh -huh. So now I have four points. Psychology. That's a good thing. And now we have a clue here. The Hawkins Warehouse. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Science of life attests to the fact. Since of bloodstained bandages must also be known and probably removed from a wound, as well as pain pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's lives. Life. What is it? It is the discovery of a partially charred painting, recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion, that allows all doubts to be lifted as a link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Okay. 
All right. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Yeah. Is there anyone in there? You, don't move. Detective Pierce. Yeah. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Hmm. I don't think it'd be wise to do that. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? Yeah. A strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Yeah. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. <laughs> God damn it. Her again. I this case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Ooh. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Yeah. I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Mm. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Whoa! That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well. Well, we've just completed chapter two, and I've unlocked an achievement. I didn't even see what the achievement was. Probably for, you know, getting through chapter two. It must have been Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partially charred painting. Interrupted in his searchings by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detectives to the Hawkins mansion. Okay. That's a bad scar. Someone was watching him. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Wow. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Mm. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. <laughs> Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. Mm -mm. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. 
Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I do have other questions. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. <laughs> he talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. Yeah. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Well, uh... I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. Hmm. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Yeah. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. I should be the old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? <laughs> You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yep. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? No. Well, let's see. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Mm. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Uh. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha. Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. Yeah. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. <laughs> Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. No. No, we're all done with the questions. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. <laughs> I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Yeah, that sounds fair. Why not? You can help. <laughs> right. Let's go. All right, here we go to the Hawkins Mansion. Not going that way? Okay, go this way. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Yeah. Oh. What's this? Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Yeah. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. Yeah. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Hmm. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Yeah. Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Yeah. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Hmm. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Right. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. 
What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Yeah. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Amen. Poor kid. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Yeah. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Mm. Hmm. Anything else I can get? Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. That way, I have to go. Not that way, so... Let's look around. Maybe we can find something else. I want to see something. That's the house. I'm gonna look over here for a minute. Anything over here? Wow. There's the lighthouse. There's the harbor. house as well. Oh, I saved the game. Yay. I'll have to find another entrance. Also led back down here. Right? No. Oh. This way was blocked off. Still standing over there. This entrance is still in use. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna try opening? No. Nope. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir. All right. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We got them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's okay. painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. 
But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Yeah. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Hmm. <laughs> You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake. But it won't be the first. Here. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this match. Wow. Let's see. We got uh, some new information. Officer Bradley, 37, police officer. This hit cop likes order and justice. He's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth in the Hawkins case. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He could help me in my investigation. 64, Silas Winchester, caretaker. The old caretaker of the Hawkins family, Silas Winchester, still watches over the family graveyard and the burned-out mansion. Devoted to Charles Hawkins, whom he all but raised, he also has great respect for the memory of Sarah Hawkins and her child, Simon. His long months of solitude in the abandoned property have made him very distrustful. Silas still puts flowers on the grave of Charles and Sarah and Simon. And now we have the Hawkins Mansion, the gardens. Okay. And we now have in our inventory the key to the tradesman entrance. Alrighty. P.S. Shall we enter? What now? Do you have a moment? What now? Nothing. Sorry. Okay. Stop wasting my time. Uh, I thought he had something more. Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. Yes. You're right. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Yay! We're in the mansion. It's still chapter three. Okay. Here's an officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Man Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property guard by Silas Winchester, the old caretaker, still faithful to his employers. He keeps watch on the place, armed with his axe. Pierce and Bradley manage to calm da him down and finally get hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building looking for the scene of the fire. Okay. And I think we're going to call it an episode here. After I see the message that the game is saved. Because uh, we're at 28 minutes and I think that's long enough. Can't go too mad too quickly, you know. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere. I thank you for watching to the end. And uh, if you haven't watched the previous parts of this playthrough, I'm going to be playing through this entire game. I do not know what ending I am going to achieve, as I am trying to handle this on a bit on the blind side. I've already seen some people play through this. And you may also check out some of the other games I've been playing on the channel. I'm working my way. I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. I am working my way through Abduction from the same people who created Myst. I am working my way through the Space Quest franchise right now. I still have to figure out how to fix the problem with Gabriel Knight 3 before I can take that back up again. Uh, right now I'm on Space Quest 3, Pirates of Pestilon. 
I am also working my way through the Doom franchise following the same protagonist, Doom Guy or Doom Slayer. I am currently working my way through Final Doom and having tackled the secret levels in uh, two long videos, I am now going back to the normal levels. I am also working my way through Lamplight City, a fun little point and click adventure. I am working my way through the Tomb Raider franchise up until Chronicles, currently on The Last Revelation. I'm just about to start Laura on a train ride. <laughs> I am also working my way through uh, the Sherlock Holmes franchise in a chronological order, and I'm currently working on Sherlock Holmes' Secret of the Silver Earring. The second game released, and at the time of recording, the current fifth game... Um, current fifth in the timeline. Alright, so let's uh, enter Madness Follow here. Me. Game I know the place. Okay. Who left this light on? Alright. So, <clears throat> take care all, and have a good one. Bye.